This is the town of Damasak in northeastern Nigeria. Boko Haram fighters occupied this town for months and are alleged to have killed many civilians. Soldiers and residents say 200 decomposing bodies were removed from here. Many more bodies that were found on the streets and in what remained of homes have been buried. This is where the executions took place, where civilians were executed. The bodies were taken two days ago and buried over there. Survivors say the occupation of their town was brutal. This is the reality authorities are waking up to after Boko Haram fighters were pushed out by Nigerian troops and their partners from Niger and Chad. The coalition troops have been in charge here for more than a month, but Damasak remains a largely deserted town. The battle to recapture the town was fierce, and it came at a huge cost. We were faced with a lot of resistance between Duchi and Damasak. We lost some men, but we managed to clean the whole zone from here to Malfaturi. Today, civilians are starting to feel safer and have started coming back to their homes. Having said that, our mission initially wasn't to stay and protect the city. The Nigerian military forces should be coming to take control of the city, but they haven't responded yet. So we're here. But the threat of further Boko Haram attacks remains as troops continue operations in the northeast. The Nigerian army has also launched a coordinated raid on a Boko Haram hideout in the Sambisa forest. They say they rescued 293 girls and women in the operation. Despite the military victories, Boko Haram fighters have attacked some areas liberated by the army only a few months ago. An indication that the Boko Haram threat is ever present. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Abuja, Nigeria.